At Zutano, a Vermont infant clothing manufacturer, family friendly takes on special meaning. It's not unusual to hear the laughter of babies who come to work with their moms. Bringing babies to work is just one solution that may work for some types of businesses. Zutano provides a rotating office for new moms with space for the baby and a private door that locks. For employees who do not have their baby with them, the company photo studio provides privacy to express milk. We founded Zutano in 1989 and it was really, really founded with the inspiration of, of babies. Over 10 years ago, uh, our production manager, uh, Denise Town, came to us and announced that I was going to have a baby and everybody was really embracing the idea of having a baby. And Denise is a very important person in the company. She's our production manager and faced with the possibility of, of her deciding to take uh, to leave us uh, or take a really extended uh, leave. Uh, you know, there wasn't really those solutions in place, so it was kind of a natural decision for us. We just said, well, why don't you bring, it, why don't you bring him in here and we'll see how it goes. You know, I was able to kind of rework my schedule. So, you know, if I was here and I didn't have something done, and one of the kids took a nap, you know, I would stay and I would work late and I would get it done while they're napping because it was convenient for me. Well, I started working here many years before even I had children. And so when it came time to have children, I was really excited because I've watched a lot of other moms kind of come along and see what a great place this was to, you know, to, that supported um, women that had families. So for us, from a business perspective, I think that we're providing our most valued uh, benefit, ability to breastfeed, at really no cost to the companies. And the nice thing about working here too, it allows you obviously to be able to, to nurse and breastfeed, which I did with both my children. Yeah, I, I guess I would tell Michael and Oli that number one, I think, you know, I just can't thank them enough for allowing me this opportunity. Um, also, I was a new employee to the company. I came on board when I was about 11 weeks pregnant. So for them to allow me to do it, even though I hadn't been here for a great chunk of time, really meant the world to me. In the beginning, we didn't have anything formal about the program. So now, you know, we kind of worked over the years to kind of formalize it and to kind of put some parameters around it and some qualifying factors. And just, you know, if you can't um, bring your baby to work, because there's some positions like at our distribution center, um, where, you know, we have uh, dangerous equipment and things like that where you just can't have your baby um, on the floor. So, you know, we pay a portion of daycare for the first year of life. Um, so usually when she's napping in the morning, I do my work um, and then I give her breakfast and change her diaper. And then she's really good at entertaining herself. So she plays very well by herself. Um, so I can usually get a bunch done when she's just having play time. Well, I think, I mean, it's definitely a benefit to the employer. Um, you're basically giving people the opportunity to, to bring a part of their family to work with them. Um, it makes you definitely more grateful for the position that you have. It makes you more loyal to your, to your employers. It's very difficult for us as an employer to replace them, so I think the the disruptions we have of having a baby present here is very minor compared to the disruptions we have if people choose to leave the workforce. So. I've had many people, you know, send in their resume, you know, just letting me know that they're expecting and do they do we have any positions here because they really like to work here. They hear it's a really great, great place for someone that's having a baby. One of my friends just had a baby in May and she just went back to work and she's trying out half days with her daughter there and I think it's partly because she's seen that you know I was able to do it. While having babies at work may not work for all businesses, it is one option for supporting nursing moms at work. Creative solutions for private space and time to express milk at work are other options. Learn more about how your business can make it work at www.womenshealth.gov slash breastfeeding slash at hyphen work. Supporting nursing women at work is good for business. Three to one return on investment, helps recruit and retain good employees, lowers absenteeism rates, improves productivity, builds employee morale and loyalty. Funded by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office on Women's Health. HHS has designed these videos solely for the purpose of providing examples of the ways businesses accommodate nursing women. 
please contact your state labor department to assure that solutions comply with your state laws. HHS does not imply endorsement of any one strategy for compliance with the break time for nursing mothers provision of the federal law. All persons pictured in these videos have provided permission for use of their likeness for federal purposes only. Commercial business scenes do not imply endorsement by HHS.